so here is the good news for spring ai users and spring ai developers that i say so spring ai whatever versions release versions so far we were using they were whether a snapshot release or they were release candidate but they were not publicly released in a sense that there was no surety from the spring team side that there will be stability or uh, there is a full fledged support from the spring ai team side so that that's the meaning of the snapshot and uh, ga particular confirmed release that's the difference so this spring ai 1.0 release is confirming that that now ai generative ai application integration and model llm integration is full fledged in the ecosystem and development is going to continue so this is the page that i'm going to link in the description go ahead walk through this one so let's walk through this page this release page and what information is in here so just to get started on the thing so this is the thing so for the maven and the gradle thing is in here so so far we were using this right uh, if you were watching that uh, spring ai tutorial series also earlier rc1 was the release that i was using and now i have moved it to this one so if i show you this like if, let's say this is the chat model that interface is there so where this is taking me so now the source code uh, in here earlier it was rc1 now this is referring to the model 1.0 in here so everything is 1.0 that bomb bill of material that's coming that is the version 1.0 that that's it's, it's very good news actually Uh, okay so what are the supports like uh, what what how we can get best out of this one so this section i really liked it i have explored couple of couple of these things so you see uh, aws blog google cloud foundry they have published the blog basically uh, announcing the release of the 1.0 and also announcing the support for spring 1.0 oh, that's that's their like aa and this this kind of right so uh, so far i uh, was seeing like whenever llm and uh, this ai generative ai integration was there that was uh, a bit of missing in the java ecosystem uh, whenever we needed we needed to create one more microservice in a python and integrate that there so with this release it's it's coming natively in the java also that integration support is coming in has come actually with this release so it it's going to be fun uh, using this one so the, all these blo blocks are very useful i have gone through couple of it they are very good to read Go, uh, uh, make sure that you check these out uh, what are the other things if you want to uh, like to celebrate the release this is the playlist song that you can see in here it's, it's very good song actually i have heard uh so this is the new logo that is coming in this is this is really cool that coloring and theme that that's there it, it's good so now uh, whenever uh, we are creating a thumbnail uh, this is the logo that can help us to pinpoint the video or anything that yeah it's it's the spring ai that's there let's take a small tour about uh, 1.0 ji that's there So at the heart of Spring AI is the chat client, a portable and easy to use API that is primary interface for interacting with AI models. Spring AI's chat client supports invoking 20 AI models from Anthropic to Zippo. It supports multi-model inputs and outputs and structured responses most often in JSON for easier processing out of output in an application for detailed comparison of the features so this is the chat model comparison that can be seen so if i show you this application so far that we have created we have not used chat client we are using chat model in here but if we have to go to chat client that that's also uh, not very difficult but uh, actually i use chat model directly but uh, ideal way is use the chat client inside that chat model should go okay but yeah i will modify it uh, in, in further to because we are just getting started so it's good to go no no harm in this what are the prompts that's they are creating the right prompts what you pass to the model is an important skill there are several patterns to get the most out of the ai models to get the best results the augmented llm what is this how a real world ai application go beyond simple request response interaction with a stateless ai model 
to build effective ai application there is a supporting cast of features is essential this is where the concept of augmented llm depicted below so this is there so this is the llm this is our request and this is output but whenever we are sending the llm uh, you know llms are trained at a particular date particular data so they are uh, missing some domain specific data or real time data that's what we have to pass this on that's what we have to give it to the llm that's what it is doing different tooling calls memory retrieval whatever what not we can do with this so, so we are supporting this llm with the latest information and uh, uh, making it more powerful advisors key features of spring ai chat client is the advisor api this is an interceptor chain that allows you to modify the ingoing prompt by injecting retrieve data and conversation memory so it's it's like a interceptor or filter that we use so advisors are in this ai world that that's going to play the role in here retrieval at the heart of retrieving data in ai application is a database and vector database particularly uh, vector databases in particular are the most common for this purpose spring ai provides provides a portable vector store abstraction that supports 20 different vector databases uh, for azure cosmos dbs to bbh so there are so many available there are many options available in the last video we saw the embedded vector actually so that that's embedded uh, in memory database so in future uh, we are going to experiment with other databases also immediately that that's going to come very soon a common challenge working with these databases is that each has its own unique query language for metadata filtering spring ai solves this with a portable filter expression language that uses a familiar sql like syntax if you uh, if you if you every if you ever reach this limits of this abstraction you can fall back to the native queries so if, if it's like not supporting so native query is always there but a spring uh, expression language is there to for, for most of the tasks that's there so a lot of things is there in the retrieval part when where it comes to the database and other things so more you can read it about it but the reference documentation either this is the, just the summary part that's there memory is that thing conversational history is an essential ingredient in creating an ai chat application spring ai supports this with the chat memory interface like the chat client that is the chat memory which manages the storing and retrieving of the messages the message window chat memory implementation maintains the last n messages in sliding windows and updating itself as the conversation progresses it delegates to chat memory repository and we currently the uh, and we currently provide repository implementation for jdbc cassandra neo4z and more on the way like the way that we have a crud repository chat memory repository is there that we are going to experiment in some time coming an alternative is to use the vector store chat memory advisor instead of just remembering the most recent messages it uses vector search to retrieve the most semantically similar messages from the past conversation this is the section to explore more so it, it's going to be more inter uh, like interesting uh, digging into the actual documentation and getting the working example tools spring ai makes it easy to extend what models can do through tools custom functions that let ai retrieve external information or take real world action tool calling also referred to as function calling was first widely introduced by openai in june 2023 with the release of their function calling feature in the gpt4 and gpt354 3.5 turbo models tools can fetch current weather query databases or return the latest news whatever functionality that we have given them helping models answer questions beyond their training data they can also trigger workflows send emails or update systems turning the model into an active participant in your application defining tools it's simple use the at the root tool annotation uh, for declarative method register bin dynamically with at the rate bean or create them programmatically for full control the evaluation how it is coming into picture so using this technology to create an application is fun and is all fun and games but how do you know it is working so unfortunately it isn't that straightforward as writing traditional unit or integration testing and seeing if the tests are green one needs to evaluate the response for the ai model across a range of criteria for example is the answer relevant to the question asked did it hallucinate or not was the answer based on the provided facts 
to get a handle on this one should start off doing so called vibe checks as the name implies this is manually reviewing and the responses and using your own judgment to determine if the answer is correct or not of course this is time consuming so there is an evolving set of techniques to help automate this process spring ai makes it easy to check how accurate and relevant your ai generated content is it comes with a flexible evaluator interface and two handy built in evaluators so like relevancy evaluator is there and fact checking evaluator is there so as name suggests it is going to evaluate based on the relevancy it is going to check based on the fact so this is uh, also they are available but this is not the silver bullet as uh, lead maintainer of the hugging face open llm they said uh, llm ad judge are not a silver bullet in her interview on the latent space she like uh, she outlines key issues mood collab mood mode collapse and positional biases verbose bias poor ad scoring and over confidence bias is there next section that spring ai has is the observability my favorite in any of the software that we built observability must be there when you are running ai in production you need more than hope and good vibes you need observability spring ai makes it easy to observe what your models are doing how they are performing and what and what it's all costing you spring ai integrates with micrometer that is the observability framework to provide detailed telemetry uh on key metrics like model latency how time how much time it is taking token uses tool calls and retrievals you can also get the tracing support via micrometer tracing with the span for each major step in a model and uh, actuator end, end point is also there that you can get more details around the token uses and all that next big thing is the model context protocol Mod, model context protocol that is mcp came on the scene in november of 2024 it took off like wildfire because it provides a standardized way for ai models to interact with external tools prompts and resources mcp is a client server oriented protocol and once you build an mcc mcp server you can easily adopt it in your application no matter what programming language is the mcp server was written in or what programming language the mcp client is written in there are two main components client and server in mcp This has really taken off in the tool space so MCP isn't limited to tools now you can use out of the box MCP server for a specific functionality like integer uh, like interacting with github without having to write that code yourself from the ai tool perspective it is like a class library of tools that you can easily add to your application the spring ai team started support for mcp shortly after the specification was released and this code was uh, then donated to anthropic as the basis for the mcp java sdk spring ai provides a rich set of features around this foundation so i recently i started going through this mcp java sdk and i have got a good grasp around it uh, in future there are videos also coming around it so there are like these two components it is talking about like mcp clients mcp server that's there okay so mcp and security and this agents are there 2025 is the year of the agents the million dollar question is define agent well there is no there is a short at it at its core an agent leverages an ai model to interact with its environment in order to solve a user defined task effective agents combine planning memory and actions to fill tasks uh to fulfill tasks assigned by the users there are two broad categories for agents workflows and autonomous agents that's there so there is uh, like uh, this workflow driven agents that's coming into picture in here like uh, uh, there are two uh, like this like evaluator optimizer if you see this example the this model analyzes its own response and refines them through a structured process of self evaluation one llm is generating and llm call is just evaluating so the one is solution giving another is just giving the feedback on that one based on that if it is accepted it is going to the user as an output the second option is the routing like this pattern enables intelligent routing of inputs to specialized handlers based on the classification of the user so let's say user is asking question in different languages and our interface is language agnostic so the routing model can say that which language it is based on that language that can uh, be routed to a specific uh, language model that can answer that one that's the realistic example 
then orchestrator worker is there chaining is there parallelization is there autonomously driven agent are there in here and then tanju ai so that that concludes this uh, release note so i wanted to read this out because this is the first ga release that that's going to be there and going to be the foundation for uh, ai and spring applications basically whatever we are building so yeah this is the series that's about uh, spring ai lot of videos are on the way that i am building as i get the time around it so yeah i hope you found this useful if i if you have not subscribed the channel please do subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye